Well, April is supposed to be going into warmer weather now, but um, looks like more snow on the way. Now, those of you old enough or went to college, remember that great movie Animal House? Remember the scene where Kevin Bacon is being initiated into the fraternity? Kevin Bacon's been in every film, I realize that, but Vita Myers got the paddle out, and it's basically, thank you, sir, may I have another? Thank you, sir, may I have another? I know that's what we feel like over the past few days with these areas of snow coming through. It looks like one more coming through as we go basically from today all the way through what, Thursday. So after taking a look at our watches, warnings, and advisories, we did add one area to the warning here, basically the east slopes of the winds that include South Pass, as well as the Lander foothills. That looks to be the bullseye with this. We're just about everybody else under a winter weather advisory. Exception over here is the uh, eastern Bighorn Basin. They will still see a couple of inches of snow up in that area as well. A lot of different starting end times going over our website. You want to see that. So our confidence index, pretty high chance of moderate to heavy snow, especially across the warning area. Blowing snow, pretty good chance. That's going to depend on where you are, especially wind prone areas like the Bighorn Basin, Johnson, as well as Natrona counties, maybe around the higher elevations around Riverton as well. I'll show you the winds in just a minute as well. The snowfall amounts, again, medium to high. Could be some banding with this where you look, could get locally higher amounts. So a medium to high on that, but just about everybody will see some snow out of this. Now the maximum impact for most people probably hold off until tonight. That's when the heaviest snow and the strongest winds will likely come in. But there will be light snow pretty much uh, lingering into Thursday as well, though it will begin to taper off as we head into the afternoon hours. So look at our timing of maximum impact. Basically heading from northwest to southeast, up around Cody, maybe more of an afternoon to evening event. Areas east of the divide, we're looking. So there will be some light snow around this afternoon, but until we get the sun to go down with a high sun angle, it might not be too bad. But between about 8 and, and midnight, it could get kind of nasty. And across our rock springs, maybe a little bit earlier there, maybe starting as early as 4 or 5 there. And west of the divide, it will be ongoing as well, especially across the mountains, but maximum impact there as well, probably overnight hours, then gradually ending with lighter snow as we head towards sunrise on Thursday. So wind gusts. This will be mainly this afternoon into this evening when once the cold front moves north to south across the area progressing that way. See the strongest wind gusts around 40 miles per hour on Great Bull and Buffalo. This will really be an impact later on as the snow becomes uh, drier as temperatures drop. It will blow and drift around a little bit more. And I know you're wondering how much snow are we going to get. Now you can see uh, the highest amounts where we have that warning right here. It looks like with the uh, moving of the low, it looks like upslope flow and east flow. That's going to upslope against the Wind River Mountains here. That's going to lead to about... Eight, 12 inches might be pushing it around land or maybe up around Sinks Canyon, but I think 6 to 10 are a pretty good bet there. Much of the rest of the area, anywhere from say about 2 to 5 inches, maybe a little less around Rock Springs, but a good wind blowing it around there. About uh, 3 inches around Jackson. Star Valley may do pretty well. It looks like maybe a slug coming in here. They could get locally up to 7 or 8 inches here. But just about everybody's seeing snow. And most of the lower elevations, I say, anywhere between about 2 to 6 inches, depending on where those bands set up. Here's our resources for our road conditions. Again, wireroad.info, these are the places to go for road conditions. Don't call us for that. If you're in Wyoming, dial 511, coming from out of state, 188 Wyoming Road. There's our uh, address for our webcams there. I'm not going to read that out or I'll butcher it. And finally, for weather information, just go to our website. Be safe, everybody. Have a great day.